we have breaking news that we're watching for you. And that's right. Two L.A. County Sheriff's deputies wounded and hospitalized this morning. They both were shot in a gun battle with a man who tried to avoid a DUI. I had just ended my, my shift for the night, and I heard over the radio, 9 and 8, I'm hit. And it's kind of one of those things that you don't hear too often. So when I heard it, I asked my partner who was sitting next to me, did I hear what I think I just heard? You know, we always think it's routine, but as you know, that routine, I don't know if that's actually a term we should use, that there's never a routine, but. Things happen, you know, in a split second. It was a DUI checkpoint that just, you know, things went south really fast. Part of the shooting, we were kind of hanging out as a group and everybody was jovial and laughing and having, you know, a good time with each other. Um, and then two hours later, this happened. As much as we prepare, I think in the back of our minds, we're always thinking, it's not gonna happen to me. And then uh, I'm laying in the street here, and I'm the one who got shot. It's, all, it's, a sh it's shocking, because you don't believe it's actually happening. It doesn't feel real. Um, I had thoughts of my kids, you know, uh, am I gonna see them again? Will they remember me? This whole incident opened up a lot for me. Um, I hope I can share my story. I mean, in the academy, everyone talks about, oh, if your partner gets shot, if your partner gets shot. But at that point, I, I was pretty fresh off patrol training, and having my partner die in the middle of the street w wasn't an option. I think your adrenaline definitely carries you through the whole incident. I was numb, didn't realize what was going on until after. I think that's when it started sinking in. I remember telling myself, you know, focus, you know, lock it up, like they say in the academy. I just learned, like, don't ever think it's never going to happen to you, just prepare and take care of one another. I had two separate officer involved shootings, uh, so close together and related. Uh, I'd, I've never encountered that before. This incident and the aftermath after it created bonds with us that we didn't necessarily have before. That type of um, closeness is probably what got a lot of us through it. You know, you're always trained uh, regarding a shooting, but uh, until it happens, um, you're never really ready for it. 